All right, it's finally here. The Ancient Magnus Bread. I know I pulled for this a long time ago. It's taken a bit. We're gonna finally start it. I have no clue what it's about. Let's begin the reaction, though. Okay. This is the main character, right? What's she signing? The detour place? What? What? Those are some dead eyes. Ayo. Uh, that's like a slave chain, isn't it? Are we going to jail? It's a contract. Is she getting sold off? This is like human trafficking. In this world, like there's slave trading for humans. Auction? Slave auction time? Yeah, okay. So it's slave auction trading. Why is she rare? Because it's a young girl? I don't know. This guy that's walking in that did the... Why is he here? He seems... He's probably super popular. Or like, everybody knows of him. Wait, wait. This dude literally just walking up to the main stage during the auction is like, nah, I'll just take it. I don't care. Write a number on the check. Okay, Mr. Big Guy. <laughs> Five million. Anyone gonna contest that? I don't know how much money that actually is, but you know, based on what they were offering. That's a lot of money, I guess. And this is the skeleton looking dude, right? My apprentice. Fateful encounter. This is, she's the bride and he's the guy that's gonna take her? I, I don't I don't know. I don't care about the rules. I'll just walk up to the stage and offer five mil and get out. Bruh, I'm out. This guy is different. He gets a, he doesn't give a shit about the rules. He just does whatever he wants. This is not how to master would treat a slave. It's almost as if she, he wants her to be like empowered and like liberate her it's like he's buying her freedom right now right not a sorcerer or a con man what, what is he what is this guy i don't know this world tell me yeah, he's tall though holy shit huh is that a familiar it's kind of cute slave becky you can see them. Meaning, it takes some level of aptitude to be able to see certain things like the slave Beggy. I don't know. Some flashback there. She seems to have a really rough past. What's your name? Elias. Elias. Elias Ainsworth. Elias Ainsworth. Oh, you're definitely not human. Puppy. My puppy? You into that puppy play? You, you want her to bark for you? Or... <laughs> oh, he seems like a good guy so far though, right? He's like, stand tall, keep your head up. You're no longer a slave. He didn't say that, but it seems like that's what he wants to do. The sight? It's a sight. She can see. Huh? It's like she was born with a special power and everybody isolated her in the past. The sight to see special beings in this world? The fuck is that man? Oh, don't commit suicide. Come on. You know what happens in Japanese, like, like high school, like, anime scenes when they're on top of the rooftop like that. <laughs> Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. It's okay. Hmm. She thinks it's like a curse to have this sight, but he's gonna show her that it's actually a blessing. Hold up. Vine is coming out of nowhere. I have no clue what's going on, but he's about to show her that her sight is a blessing. Did we just teleport somewhere? I think we did. Huh? Uh, is this where we're staying? What's going on? A single leap. Meaning there could have been more teleportation. Okay, this is a pretty humble place for a guy that just like flicks 5 million pounds at an auction, right? I don't know, I thought he might have a mansion or something, but this looks a little rundown. Yeah, what are we an apprentice of? What are, what are, what are we doing? Like, what, what are you? Whoa, he just didn't even touch it, but... You're no longer a slave. A mage's apprentice. So, the show is about like magicians. Magic's involved. They're rare. In danger. Slave Beggy. I thought that 
oh, we're Slay Biggie. Never mind. I thought that little thing that was like around us in that lab was Slay Biggie. I, I don't know. Welcome to your new home. Hey, what, 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 Okay, so sudden, the sudden like transition into the TV moment's kind of cute, but you're trying to like wash her? It's bath time. Come on, you're our puppy. You're gonna... Now, a 15 year old girl. I'm. I'm. Different times, anime logic. This is where he got her and sold her off in the auction. Okay. But is he really just. Is she really just gonna live for him, Elias? I feel like she should live for herself. Something about the sight, right? So, this is only possible because she's a magician, kind of an apprentice, right? Neighbors. Friends. Okay. What's a slave baggy? I don't know what that term means. Is a human a slave baggy? Like, what? I, I, I don't know. Aww. She's that precious, huh? I, I don't know why, but she's extremely precious. She has the sight. She's a human. And uh, she's a slave baggy. Whatever that means. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's so cute. Looks pretty good. Damn. Damn, you make this thing? Damn. Hmm, she doesn't really have a happy face, though. She just looks pretty, I don't know, depressed, too. Kind of awkward. Uh, whoa. It was invisible until now. Where did it come from? It's like a phoenix. Means we're going to be a magician, too. He keeps calling us a puppy. I don't know if that's a... I don't know. What's a slave beggy? What's a slave beggy? Tell me, please. Finally, thank you. Okay, what is it? A queen bee. Are kind. Is any human a slave beggy? Or her, she's unique. Fairies and other mysteries. She's just like a super rare kind that draws in other fantasies. I, I don't know, these creatures. She's the queen bee. Bad things can happen? Um, what kind of bad things? So we can always have these like mystical creatures help. Okay. So always we're going to have some kind of companions. Huh. Okay, okay. So she's always going to have these familiars like helping her out. They're just drawn to her. But it could be detrimental to human, but they'll always be like favorable to us because he's a slave beggy. What do you mean? Well, no. One pa What? We got a different roles? Can we become like a warrior? <laughs> like, a, like an assassin? What, what is this? Okay. Elia so far is so kind. He just took us out of the depth of despair and welcomed us to home. Now, I'm being picky right now. I thought that Elias would have like a mansion or something. But like, this is obviously really good for her. She's like, oh my god, I have my own bed. But I, I kind of wanted like a really pimped out mansion. Maybe my expectations are too high. I don't know, I'm spoiled. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hello. The aerials, right? Hey. They just want to hang out with us all the time. A midnight walk. Should we be doing this? I don't know. Oh, are you sure? I kind of want to go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, it might it might be fun. Or we run into a dangerous beast and we die. Don't worry, we're a slave beggy. All these different creatures will help us. There's no way Elias doesn't know that she's leaving home right now, right? Yeah, see, see, see. A lesson. As in, like, you shouldn't listen to what all these different, like, uh, like neighbors are doing? I, I don't know. I feel like there's nothing but, like... There, may, there might be a little bit of misfortune here, but I feel like things are gonna be okay. Until it doesn't, and then Elias will come and save us or something. Because, like, we don't know what to be dangerous about. Like, what is the dangerous in this world? So far, it's just been a new world. She's all excited and happy, but... Surely, there's some dangers around here, right? Are you sure it's fine? I don't trust her anymore, man. 
Where are you leading us? There it is. There it is. No, what do you mean we don't have to go back anymore? What are you talking about? The Thorn Mage is Elias. Okay. We're in danger. We need to get the fuck out. It's like a portal to their world. That's pretty interesting. Oh, it just happens to be open. Come here, nothing bad will happen. Come on, yeah, it'll be just fun. Nope, nope, don't go there. Don't go there. Elias? Oh, we, we have that, you know, the, the necklace too that'll protect us, right? Yeah, we should go back right now. Back home? How are you gonna start talking shit like that all of a sudden? You were acting so nice. It's kind of compelling. She doesn't really have a family and I think she's getting lured now, but... No, don't listen to her. This is all magic. Wake up! Wake up! This isn't good. This isn't good. Uh... Elias? El... Hmm? Oh, nice one. Oh, you don't have to do that! How hard do you have to be poking yourself to be bleeding on the arm? We have Elias now. No, he's been so kind to us. Yeah, we have our own bed now. What are you talking about? We're family. Damn. Do you think he would really throw us out though if he gets bored of us? I don't know. Oh, there he is! The Thorn Mage! Word, Dennis. I don't really know how to feel about being talked down like this. Oh, our good puppy knows where to, where her place is. <laughs> That's like a GPS tracking. I don't know, something like that. But there will be no next time. Oh. Protector Robin? That's big loser? Who's Robin? There's so much to this world that I have no clue about, but right there, you see how it could have been dangerous, remember? Everything is, like, attracted to her because she's a slave baggy. And shit can go wrong. Oh, a head pat. Oh, thank you. I like it when Elias turns into this, like, chibi form. It's much more, like, cute. His, like, skeleton head is kind of, like, scary to a degree because I'm not familiar enough with it. But in this form, it's, like, very welcoming. He's tense because he was worried about you, maybe? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is, a, this is a little romantic, I don't know. Hmm. This title, ep this, the, the episode, I'm sorry, the anime is called The Ancient Magnus Bride. Is there anything romantic brewing between these two? Future wife, hold up! 15 year old girl, difference, he bought her, you are the wife, what do you mean? He's kind of grooming you to be the wife, but apprentice, not wife, but now it's seeming like she's going to be your wife. Now, we got to let this cook, right? We can't be... At, at a first glance, I'm thinking like, hey, yo, but... Maybe there's a really beautiful story that's beyond what it just seems like on the surface, right? Let it cook. Yeah, or you, you, pardon? What do you mean, wife? And I think that's the episode. I had no idea what to expect from this anime, so it's like a world of magic, and they're very rare, and she's a special kind. A queen bee, the slave beggy that attracts different magical beings, but sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And then we have Elias, that's gonna be like training us, and somehow she's gonna be our husband, and we're kind of being trained to be an apprentice, but also a wife too. I don't really know how to feel about that so far, but he seems like a good person, so we'll let it cook. But hey, if you're here, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.